there are many people who make uh, videos and uh, you know discuss their ethnicity as you know uh, analyzed by 23 and me you know by those ancestry tests this is a very interesting thing and uh, this is a reason why i also made this ancestry dna test it surprised our family a little bit you know uh, first of all i was up brought as a half European and half Asian, uh, but this test revealed that apparently I am 70% European. Uh, different kinds of European, Finnish, South European, Eastern European, and then the rest 30%, it is not just Asian, but it is also, uh, you know, um, Arab, Indian, and even Black. However, what is the most exciting about those DNA tests is that they measure intelligence. They provide a tool to foresee the intellectual development of a person. One of those genotypes that I want to discuss with you is uh, what is called uh, genius and madness. It's genotype number RS699492 TT. There are many articles, there are many videos that say that this is the exact genotype we find in Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, Vincent van Gogh, Mozart, you know, Frida, and John Nash. This is something interesting. I tried to find other people with the same DNA on uh, the 23andMe website. I failed, but I still continue. So um, I wouldn't claim that I am a genius. I have certain academic credentials, such as, you know, I have a PhD from La Sorbonne, from Paris. I have three titles of a full university professor in Moscow and in Almaty. And then at the uh, insanity segment, I was never diagnosed with uh, any psychosis. I had, however, quite strange behavior in my childhood and then in, in teenage years. Uh, once a friend of mine even told me, you know, you behave in such a manner that kids think you are mad and they are scared of you. That was quite funny. Uh, then uh, I also had what I identify as a visual hallucination in the childhood and in the teenage years. I don't think that I am gifted in math. However, when I was facing very difficult exercises at school, I wasn't able to solve them with my IQ. In those cases, I saw visual hallucinations. And the answer was absolutely correct. I call this hallucination because the thing I was watching didn't exist. And after that, I was unable to explain how I got that correct answer. At a certain stage, I understood that this is something that is slightly dangerous. And I started to avoid this psychological state, this mental state. There are two perspectives on insanity and madness. The first one says that you are unable to achieve the genius level without being mad, you know. The second perspective is that, in fact, madness and uh, insanity, they are obstacles on developing your level. 
I would support this point of view. You know, I know some people, some professors in Paris and in New York who are diagnosed with uh, psychosis. And I think that at the moment, when they are in, uh, in this psychological state, it is impossible to talk to them. They are too aggressive and they do not accept any alternative vision. You know, I think that it is very important to be open to other ideas in order to develop your own scholarship, your own uh, scientific approach. Then there is another interesting uh, genotype which is called uh, increased novelty seeking. It has number RS1800955 CT. I guess that uh, this is a genotype that we find not only in scholars and scientists, but it is well distributed among businessmen and other adventurers. Um, I am 34 years old and I was living, studying, making business, working in 24 countries. So uh, I guess that behind this number is a psychological need to change countries quite often, you know, to seek something new, something, you know, something which is an uh, expanding experience. Uh, I also had a situation in Lithuania once. I was invited to a talk show and... Uh, the former Lithuanian Minister of Environment refused to participate in a talk show with me because, as he explained, I was unpredictable. I don't think that I am unpredictable. I simply have a clear objective. And then I will use different tools to achieve that objective. But um, it is clear that those tools are absolutely rational and logic. Simply, they might be a kind of, uh, you know, unexpected for certain, you know, people like, like that guy in Lithuania. The objective of this video is not to show off what I seek is to motivate other people with the same genotypes to share their experience.